Hi everyone, Toby from AbletonDrama.com here. I want to show you how to use my SBDS Accession Control Max for Live device to control scenes and to set up scenes in a really quick and easy way. So I have two tunes here um, and three tracks. One. Really loud. Turn it down a little on my headphones. Okay. So I got just got three um, tracks on here, a bar count, the backings and a metronome. And I want to set up um, four pads from the SPDSX to trigger those four different parts of song one and of song two when I change the preset in my device. So let's quickly set up the device. So first I need to make sure the right pads are being used here. I'm going to use those. Uh, three uh, button pads and one here so I'm gonna turn them on press S just to set up the right MIDI note pitch here I just need to press S hit the pad I want to map and it will detect automatically the MIDI note pitch so if I'm now hitting those pads I can see the uh, red lights here are flashing up so that's a really good monitor to see if they are mapped right okay so the next thing would be let's name the tunes so first tune is called e -Jazz tune i just put in the name press enter and now it's set up already so now i quickly want to map the scene so let's say the first scene here i need to select the first scene I just select scene here because I want to trigger scenes. That's uh, global, globally set for now. Press detect, D for detect, and I can actually quickly set up those different um, scenes here to the pads. That's how quick and easy it is. So now I'm set for the first tune. One. One. Two. And that's how easy I can trigger via those four pads, those four scenes. So now the magic comes because if I go into my second state here, I can select this via the dial or via this arrow up or down via external MIDI as well, of course. So I want to map the second tune or the parts of the second tune I have in here now. So let's put in the name first, uh, Bella Ciao. I just type in the name, press enter. And now I can see I have this name being set up here already. So now I can just select the scenes here, press detect, and it's mapped already quick and easy. So now if I'm in state number two, have the second uh, state here um, selected, those four pads will trigger something different. One. All the different parts here you can see now are being triggered now. If I switch back to um, the first one, 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 I'm triggering the four scenes of the first song. So obviously you might want those changes of uh, states of presets to be automated. That really depends on the system you're using here. You can set this up via external MIDI, you can set this up via the uh, filter and delay button on your SPDSX so I can actually, you can see I can, when I'm pressing here on my SPDSX, the filter and delay, I can select the next preset. So if I want to do this manually, that would be one way. Plus I can even set up some automations here. So I set up some MIDI dummy clips and you can see those clips here, I can select the state dial, which is this parameter here, and I have set up a breakpoint in this envelope to select the right um, preset for this tune. So one example here would be, I have a, um, on the outro, the last part, um, I have set up a an follow action, a scene follow action, which is only available from 11 from Ableton Live 11 onwards. So if I trigger the last part here, the next part will be triggered automatically. One, two, After eight bars, I set this three, eight to eight bars. Four, and then when the next five, session is triggered automatically, six, this clip seven, here, eight, when it's fired automatically, one, I'm not doing nothing, is automatically three, selecting 
the right preset here. So I'm already have the pads selected for the right scenes here. And I can fire those scenes here. Make sense? I hope so. Okay, obviously the device is coming with a long manual. Um, there is a whole long run through of how to set this all up um, to how to connect the SPDSX pad as well. If you're completely new to this subject, please have a look on my SPDSX with Ableton Live course as well. Follow the links in the video description. Just head over to abletondrama.com to find out more. Okay, stay tuned.